So here's another example of a problem we could use ratios and proportions to solve. Uh, I have a solution that must be made such that for every two parts liquid, uh, liquid drug, excuse me, there is a total volume of five part solution. Uh, if the total volume is to be 400 milliliters, they want us to figure out how much liquid drug is needed. Uh, so the first thing I always do when I'm working with a problem like this, I try to see if I could find a ratio in there somewhere. And I see on the second line starting, um, excuse, starting in the second line, uh, we have for every two parts liquid drug, there is a total volume of five parts solution. So for every two parts liquid drug, we have a total volume, our total volume is five um, parts solution. So they want us to find when the total, uh, the amount of liquid drug when the total volume is to be 400 milliliters. Well, we put our total volume uh, in the bottom of our first ratio. So when we make, create our second ratio and what we're looking for, we'll also make our total volume um, in the bottom, so 400. And then on the top is the liquid drug, which we don't know what, what it is. So there we have it. We've set up our proportion. And so now all we have to do is solve it by just multiplying by 400 on both sides. 400 on both sides. So um, the 5 goes into 400 80 times. So you end up with 160 equals x. And so we can kind of check it. We can put our 160, 160 is to 400. And that should be equivalent to 2 fifths. And sure enough, it works out that it is. And so there we have it.